you can always replace your hair. Well, obviously we know that. You can always replace your teeth, but you cannot replace your skin. Hey everyone, welcome to Silver Linings. I'm Angela. In today's video, I'm going to answer some subscriber requests to show how I take care of my skin and what I put on my skin in terms of makeup. I do have a background in skincare and makeup. In the early days of my beauty career, I was a representative for Estee Lauder, Elizabeth Arden. I worked at the Elizabeth Arden Salon, the Red Door Salon down in, down in Washington, D.C. And then years later, I became a director for Mary Kay. And that's a whole nother video. But I'm telling you that because I did meet Mary Kay. When you became a director, you had an opportunity to, to go to her home when she was still alive and meet with her. And I remember her saying, ladies, you can always get new hair. You can always get new teeth. What you cannot get is new skin. And boy, was she ever right. So very early on in my life, I learned that it was very, very important to cleanse properly and to moisturize properly. The one thing that I did not know in my early days was sunscreen. That came later on. The whole sunscreen craze, I think, started about, I don't know, 15 years ago or so. And now pretty much every quality uh, cosmetic will have some kind of sunscreen in it. Having said that, I am allergic to a lot of ingredients that I am allergic to a lot of sunscreen ingredients, so there's only a handful that I can use. So in today's video, if you're watching this and you're sensitive to sunscreen, please know that I am too. And so usually if I can use them, I'm not saying everybody can use them, but they're more gentle and they're more mild. Now, the very first thing that I do, and I cleanse really only once I cleanse at nighttime. This video is going to concentrate on cleansing and taking care of your skin. So I cleanse thoroughly at night. Every once in a while I'll be so exhausted I'll fall into bed and, and then I wake up the next morning and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't, I didn't take my makeup off and I'm mortified. But most of the time I take my, my makeup off. And even if I haven't worn makeup that day, I'll still thoroughly cleanse my skin. If I'm not going out when I'm home, and I am home a large amount of the time because I work from home, I usually don't wear too much on my skin. I'll let my skin breathe. I'll put a light moisturizer on, followed by, well, you'll see shortly, the key to beautiful, healthy, hydrated, dewy skin that has a nice glow is to take care of your skin and to cleanse it properly and not to strip all the natural oils and goodness out of your skin when you clean your skin. So, what I'm going to focus on in this video is how I clean my skin and after it's all clean, the handful of products that I put on it just to make it look its absolute best. The very first thing that I do at the end of the day is to cleanse. Now, I only have to do this ritual at night. In the morning, it's very quick, and I'll get to that later. But what you want is you want to have everything at the ready because we're usually tired at the end of the day. And I'm going to show you what I use, and I'm going to share my screen with you as I usually like to do. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to get yourself a nice something to wrap around your head to get your hair off of your face. If you don't do that, you know, your hair is going to fall down and your face is just going to be frustrating. So I have one of these old cotton headband things that I've had for 5,000 years and I'll just wrap that around my head and get all the hair off of my face. And, and then I usually take a clip, a claw clip, and then I'll pull the rest of it back. Now the other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a nice clean face cloth. And you're also going to need these rounds or some kind of a cotton square, whatever you have that's going to help you take off your eye makeup. 
Now you can certainly just use a washcloth to do this, but I just find that with all the eye makeup, it's just a lot easier to get my washcloths clean. And so I let the uh, I let the exfoliating rounds do the dirty work for me. So the very first thing that I do is I've got my rounds and I've got my washcloth for later on, my washcloth, and then I will use some bioderma, you know, that micellar water. And I remember hearing a top dermatologist say that her pick of all the micellar waters was this one. And I love this one. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It picks up the makeup very quickly and lasts a while, lasts a long time. And you can even use it right underneath to clean up the eye area when you're all done with your makeup. So, and it's fairly um, easy to get. It's in my Amazon store. So I will take the Bioderma and I'll just moisten the cotton, the cotton ball. And then what I'll do is I'll take that cotton ball and I'll kind of just plop it on my, or press it on my, on my eyelid. And then I'll kind of push up with that cotton pad and then just gently kind of massage around. It doesn't take a long time, just a couple of seconds. And then I'll remove the eye makeup. And most of it is on that cotton square. Sometimes I'll need two more. It just depends upon how much makeup I have on. Okay, so now the bulk of the eye makeup is, is off. Then after that, I use grapeseed oil. Now, a while back, I had purchased um, an oil for my skin. Um, the name of it is escaping me right now, but actually I think I have the box right here, so give me one second. It's highly recommended to do a double cleanse. I had never really heard of a double cleanse, even in all those years that I was with Mary Kay. So one of... Uh, so I visited a YouTube channel and one uh, esthetician was talking about this product here. It's a deep cleansing oil. It's by, I don't know why it's showing black in the monitor. It's actually very green. But it's by DHC. And this is 6.7 fluid ounces. Let me show you, share my screen with you. And this is what it looks like. And But the price point was $23 and, what is it, 97 cents for 6.7 ounces. And I just felt like, oh my goodness, it's so much money to spend on oil. So I did a little bit of research and I read that grapeseed oil. And again, some top dermatologists said that grapeseed oil is, is fine. It doesn't clog your pores. Um... And so I ended up purchasing this product here, um, Organic Sky Organics Grapeseed Oil, and this is eight fluid eight fluid ounces, and it's twelve ninety five. Well, that's less than half, and I've been using this product now for months and months with no problems whatsoever. And so, I mean, of course, it's up to you, depending upon how much how much you want to spend. The DHC is highly recommended. But as I said, I have the grapeseed oil and it's worked fine with me. So that's step three of the cleansing. Step one is to take the eye makeup off. Step two is to use that oil. I put it all over my eyes and then I use the face cloth. Okay, now step three is, oh, and by the way, I wanted to tell you about this one. This is another cleansing oil that's highly recommended. I may try this one when I'm done with my grapeseed oil, just because it's only $13.79, comes highly recommended by estheticians and dermatologists, but you're not going to get as much. This is only, oh, I looked it up the other day. I think it's it's not 8 ounces. I think it might be 6.7 ounces or something like that. But do cleanse with the oil to remove all the re residue that the micellar water didn't get. Okay. The third thing that I use to actually emulsify all the oils and get every bit of oil off of my skin, around my eyes, is I use Purity by Philosophy. Now, I have a great big 
tub of this, or I have a great big container. of this product and I think I've had it for three years and I'm almost down to the bottom of the bottle. I used to get those awful scaly things on the side of my nose and sometimes up on my forehead. I never I never get them anymore and at the time the only thing that was different that I used was this purity product. And so this is this has been and so this has become part of my absolute holy grail as they say beauty cleansing product. You just put a tiny bit, a nickel size in your hand, moisten your fingertips together, and then again I do my eyes first, and then I'll take another pump and I'll do the rest of my face, and then I'm done with cleansing my skin. Now, remember this is my nighttime routine. You should use some, especially as an older person, you should be using some kind of a retinol. I have three different retinols. This one is the one that I've had the longest, so I'm using this the most so that I can use it up before it expires. This is a wonderful product, and uh, you can read about it here. It'll tell you all, all about this. But this is my first active, as they say, after I wash my skin. And that word yeah. active is... And that word active it just means that it's it's activating on your skin. It's going to do something. It's 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 working on your skin. Again, I'm not an esthetician. There are five million estheticians online. You can read more about this, but I'm just here to tell you what I use on my skin. I love this product. It does not break me out. It doesn't burn me. It's gentle. I use it two or three times a week. Sometimes I use I have as I said, I have three other retinol products. They're all good, so I highly recommend this particular one. Okay, then right after I, um, again, this is nighttime, right after I use my retinol, this shocked me. CeraVe, uh, again, highly recommended by many dermatologists, very inexpensive. You can use this on your face and all over your body, and it is wonderful. It just kind of seals everything in and again I, I, I just can't believe it. I used to use all these expensive moisturizers and this one does the trick beautifully. So then uh, I've shown this one to you because again every once in a while in the dead of winter um, I might feel especially dry but really not that much lately but if I do I'll take this double repair face moisturizer and then touch it to where I want it and sometimes during the day if I'm feeling really dry I'll just take a teeny tiny little bit and tap it right there under my you know on the crow's feet <laughs> okay that's just kind of a bonus a bonus thing though I really bought it just to try it I love it I I uh I love these La Roche products. Again, highly recommended by dermatologists. Everything I put on my face, I've done some research, uh, again, because I have such fair, sensitive skin. Uh, then this one, the um, same, kind of the same deal as this one, kind of the same use as this one, depending upon how my skin is feeling, I will toggle like I'm doing now between these two um, but they are ancillary I don't use them every night I just wanted to mention them kind of pop them in here if for some reason you, something has made you feel extra extra dry okay, and then at the very end I use this this is for sure my holy grail let me see if I can explode this screen for you. This product, I actually heard about this product from Rockstar Mom. And she was talking about this on her site and said it's one of the best moisturizers that she's ever used. And I thought, okay, well, since I have a beauty channel, I'll spring for it. And I purchased this in September of 21. This is one ounce of product. And first of all, I, I absolutely love the bottle. It's just beautiful. 
but um, you can go over to HSN. But I will tell you this, they are sold out. They sell out of this stuff all the time whenever they get it. I actually have a link where I go to this page at least once or twice a week so that I can see if they have it, but that's probably even not enough. The moment they get this in, they're going to sell out because there's people that wait for this. I bought two bottles and I, I just hit it at the right time and I got two bottles. They were $35 each. So I bought this in September 21. October, November, December, January, February, March. So this, and I've got about, oh, I would say almost half the bottle left. One of these bottles has lasted me six months, and I've only used half of it. So yes, it carries a high price point, but what it does for your skin, what I do after I put on my CeraVe, then I just let that sit there for oh, a couple of minutes. Sometimes I'll just bring this right into if I'm watching TV or if I'm reading or if I'm um, if, I, if I've already gone to bed and I'm I'm not sleeping but I'm in bed. I'll just keep this by the bedside and then in a few minutes after my CeraVe has sunk in, I'll just take a couple of drops of this. You don't need a lot, even though you see a syringe here. You don't even fill it up. You just kind of, I just dump it in. I don't even, I just touch it to my fingers and I put two drops. They're not even full drops on my fingers. And then I just moisten it around like this. I would do it now, except I'm going to put some makeup on. And I just go like that and I press it right in. Well, actually, you know what? I can do it because I didn't do it yet. So I'll show you how much I use. This stuff is amazing and it smells so beautiful. Uh, and you can go to skin, S-K-I-N-N, dot com, and you can read all about it. Now, can you see there how much I have? Hardly anything. And then I just take it like that, because you don't want to have too much. And then I just start here, and then I bring it right down, and I press it into my skin. You can even add this to your, if you've got a water-based foundation. I usually use oil-based foundations, but if you've got a water-based foundation, you can add a drop, not too much, to your foundation. And it just leaves a beautiful finish on your skin. So that's the very, and then whatever's left on my fingers, I just go like that. <laughs> so, Beautiful, beautiful product, but if you're lucky, I should say, if you're fortunate, you might find a sale on HSN. If you go to their website and you subscribe, you'll be notified anytime they have they have a sale. And they have a few different skin oils, but this is the one that I like so far, that I like the best. Okay. So now the skin is primed, I'm ready for bed, I go to bed, the next morning I wake up, the only thing I do is I take some warm water and I just rinse off my face and then rinse off my face, brush my teeth, that's it, but no thorough, no, no big cleansing in the morning. And then what I do is, this is a beautiful product. My husband is an eye doctor. Disclaimer, disclaimer, I am not giving advice, especially because my husband is an eye doctor, but he told me about this Lumify product, and I used it, and you know what? It really does make the whites of your eyes pop. So that's something that you may know about, you may not. Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. Right? And this again is a beautiful product this just it just rolls on your skin now, again remember you haven't put anything on your skin you've just rinsed it with hot water and it sinks right in almost immediately it dries and then so that's step number one well step number one is I rinse it with the warm water and then I use again the CeraVe moisturizing cream and then after that I just put a little bit of this over it. 
you could actually put this on first, put the CeraVe on second, but this is has this SPF 30 in it. Now, I find anything that has SPF 30, after a little while, my, start, my skin starts to feel dry, and that's why I use both of these products together. Okay, the La Roche and the moisturizing cream. You may find that you can do just with this, but you've got to have an SPF on your skin, ladies. And gentlemen, if you're watching this, you've got to. It's the it's the thing that I wish that I had done that I didn't do all those years. I did start to do it as soon as it became popular, but it took me a while to find one that, that wasn't making me break out in boils. Okay, so we've got the, the CeraVe Serum, and then we've got the... The CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and the SPF 30. Okay, so the face and the throat and the decollete are covered. So we are good to go. The final thing that I do after everything dries, after 5-10 minutes, again, I use the Skin elixir divine elixir luminous facial oil i do not put this on my throat i only put it i dot it all over i dot it all over my face in the morning brush my teeth rinse my face with warm water follow it with the CeraVe the CeraVe serum Following the serum, if I'm going out, I will use the um, SPF 30. I forgot to say that before. If I'm not going out, then I'll just use the regular moisturizer. But if I'm going out, I'll use both of them because I find that just with me, might not be for you, but with me, whenever I use an SPF, two or three hours later, I'm feeling dry. So I just need a little bit more moisture. Okay, so just th these three things and then... I seal the whole deal with the skincare elixir. So it's those four things in the morning. But no cleansing, just rinsing with warm water. Okay? All right. So now, if I am going out, and even if I'm not, I'll, I'll usually put on at least some foundation, and you'll see why in a moment. I do not use a um, a concealer on my face. I do not. I usually don't use a concealer underneath my eyes because I find that it's too much for my skin and it ends up looking too thick. So, what I use on my as my foundation is the CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream by It Cosmetics. A lot of you are familiar with this product. And it goes on beautifully. Watch how much I use. Let me see if I can get a close-up for you here. So if you look really closely, you can see that I have a lot of veins. I've got Irish skin. See that? Rosacea. So what I do is I put... I used to use way too much of this. I mean, you don't, you don't need a lot. I take a tiny... And I mean, look how tiny that is. And then I put it right in the middle. I have to look in my mirror. I can't do this on camera. I put it right in the middle of my cheek. Let me get a handheld mirror here. Right there. And I just kind of stipple it in with my ring finger. And I'll do one side so you can see one side done and one side not done. Now, I'm talking a lot, but this all takes me, believe me, it takes me five to seven minutes, if that. So now, and you can see, I'm pulling it kind of at the edge of the eye socket, but I'm not going right underneath. See? 
Okay, and now I will do the other side. Again, a tiny dot. You know, a really tiny dot. Make an apple. Put it right on the apple. And I've got indentations from my glasses. And again, just at the edge of the eye socket. We're going to use the brush to blend it. Okay, so everything is done. Anything that's excess on my finger, I'll use down on my chin because I'm always red right there. And then we're going to take one more, kind of a half of a dot, and that's going to go on my nose because my nose is always red. I can't hold my mirror and do this. <laughs> oh, the things we do on YouTube. Try not to wipe too much because you're really just moving it from one part of your skin to another when you do that and you're displacing it and you really want to wherever you touch first that's where the bulk of the product is going to be and then I'm just kind of wiping the excess now remember I put that beautiful moisturizer so my skin is really primed it's nice and moist but it's not oily so now I just give it a, a final look make sure everything is stippled in And it is, and then I'll just use whatever's left. Always work up. So it's pretty much off of my hands. Okay. Now, the next thing that I do is I take one of these blending brushes. This is a blush brush, but I use it for my foundation. And then what I do is I take this end of it, the smaller end, and I just kind of stipple in around my nose. Stipples, push, push. Stippling is just pushing, 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 pushing into the skin. Push, 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 push. And then I push it in on the top of my nose. My nose is always red. Always. <laughs> okay, and then I use the other side just to kind of blend it up. You can even stretch your skin a little bit if you need to. Just blend it up. And then just push, 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 push. And there, it's it's pretty much blended. Okay, the next thing is the blush. R C M A in the color Gina Pink. And again, I I think I've had this three years. Beautiful blush color. And I just take a little bit on one pinky, a little bit on another pinky. With me, less is more every day. I mean, makeup for the camera is different for me than makeup for every day. I don't like an overly made up look. I don't. And you know what? I don't think most men do either. How's that? Okay. So you're going to look for the center of your cheek. Do not come. This is what Mary Kay told us. Do not venture close to the nose. Stop at the center of your eyeball, right? And keep it high. Otherwise, you're going to drag down your face. So there's the center of my apple. Remember, we're not going anywhere further toward the nose. We're just going to kind of put it right there. That's the first. I'm going to blend it. Then the other side. Always make your apple. <laughs> a 
Okay, and then just kind of look at look at how things look there. Our faces are never the same on both sides. So one side is going to go easier than the other side. Now at this point you're probably going to need to clean off your finger. I'm going back to my brush. Yes, I'm going back to my brush and I'm just going to wipe it across the top of my hand and I'm just going to at first I'm going back to this little brush here the one that I used on either side of my nose and I'm going to use that to what's the word I'm looking for? To feather in the edges of the of the blush. Feather it in from the edges. Less is more, as they say. And then the final thing is, I might do a little bit up here. A lot of times I will take a little bit of uh, like a, a contour and put it right up by my uh, hairline just because my hair is so white and it's and it's good to bring some color in there but you've got to blend it really carefully all right so the the blush is on the foundation is on the very last thing I do to set especially these days with masks is this is um, from the celebration collection at it cosmetics it fell apart i don't even know where the container is but it's, it's almost gone i'm going to have to get some you can see how much i use it and now so again i'll put it on that that brush there's no color on this brush it's all gone and then i just pop it right on top of my nose and it sets the foundation especially with all this mask wearing they keep rubbing off our our makeup and then um I'll use a little bit just on the inside right there and kind of feather it in towards the cheek and one more and feather that in toward the cheek. And that's it. That's all I do for foundation for my daily office look or whatever. Um, if I'm just ha hanging around the house, a lot of times I won't, I won't even do the blush. I'll just do the foundation because I want to cover up those veins. I don't like how they look. All right, so then the very last thing that I do is if I'm going out to dinner or someplace and I want more of a glam look, I'll use a pencil to line my lips. But just for every day, I'll just put a little bit of a color I'll just put a little bit of color followed by my favorite lip gloss in the world. This is by Sexy Mother Pucker. My husband's girls gave me that one Christmas and they, they, got a, they had a hoop watching me open this thing. But it's great. It's really great. And so I just pop that on top. Give you a nice a nice look. Where's my Kleenex? Okay, that is it. That's really all I do. So, again, I will say that the most important thing is to take care of your skin. If you take care of your skin, and you keep it clean and you keep it moisturized and you stay out of the sun and you get good night's sleep and you have good nutrition and try to reduce the stress. <laughs> you have a very good chance of having some really lovely looking skin. Probably the biggest thing of all is staying out of the sun as we know. 
Now, I think a couple of videos back, I told you that I do have a website. It's called someonewithgrayhair.com, and I'll link it below for you. I've actually had this website for years, but I never did anything with it. I was too busy selling real estate, and honestly, I never intended to do all these videos for YouTube. But one thing led to another, and here I am. So I did, I did post an article, and I'll link it for you below. And here it is. And um, keeping your aging dry skin moist and dewy, can you guess my age? And you can subscribe here if, if you want to read more and bookmark it or whatever. And here are most of the products that I talked about in the video. I'll also link them below in this video for you. And most of them are from Amazon. The only one that isn't is HSN. Um, and again, remember I said regularly check check HSN. Or you could just go over to skin.com and buy it at full price. It's $50 for a one ounce jar. Um, so I will be adding to this page a little bit more content just to go into a little bit more detail like I did with you today. But here's everything that I spoke about in today's video. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Hit the little bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. When you like my videos or like anyone's videos if you like that content creator it really helps them with the YouTube algorithm YouTube suggests our videos to other people who are looking for these for this type of content and that's why we say if you like give it a like hit the little bell icon and subscribe I'd love to hear your comments below I read every single one of them I might not always be able to respond immediately but I try to respond to every single one that I see but if I see your if I see your comment, I always try to respond back and you give me ideas for future videos. So I love to hear from you. So that's all I have for you today. Until next time, remember always, always look for the silver linings. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.